Matty Goss, almost, but not quite second on the stage, mate. How are you feeling? Um, you know, a bit of mixed emotion, I guess. I felt really good, and uh, I just had to hesitate for a couple of brief seconds when Kjolek had uh, started the sprint, and then when I then when I got going, you know, I was coming a lot faster, but I just ran out of metres to the finish line, so I'm disappointed, but, you know, I still got second in the stage, first tour, so I'm not too unhappy. So obviously the form is good, the condition's good, you just got the timing wrong. Yeah, it was a little bit, I got the timing wrong a little bit there, that's for sure, but, you know, I was still there, I still felt really comfortable. Um, the legs still had plenty to go in there at the finish, so, you know, there's a few more stages like that, so hopefully I can go one better somewhere along the way. How difficult were the last few kilometres with the 6% gradient with 3k to go? Actually the whole day was quite tough. It was really up and down all day today and uh, the weather wasn't much, wasn't much chop for us. Wind um, and then the running was certainly tough. There was roundabouts and uh, that final climb there to the finish about a kilometre and a half at like 6 odd percent. So that wasn't easy and uh, I just had to keep in position. The guys did a great job. The whole team just sat in front of me there and set a tempo where people couldn't get too far in front but I could hold it as well. Well, traditionally back home in the world of cycling, the Tasmanians have always been the hard men. I guess the conditions are suiting you. <laughs> uh, for sure. <laughs> no, no, it's, um, I actually don't mind these kind of days. I guess you have to if you want to be de decent in the classics and you have to get used to it. So I don't mind. It wasn't too cold today. It was only sections where the rain was a bit chilly, but in all, it wasn't too bad. It could be worse. Have you looked towards the next stage and, and the thoughts within the team of how you're going to plan out the sprint? Yeah, the next day we'll go with Cav again. I think it's more of a flat run in and... We'll try and perfect that and get, get the lead out working a bit better than the other days. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can add to his tally and uh, I'll try and get, get one before the end of the race.